Okay, so the organ we're going to be working with today is the colon. So this organ is as long as you are tall. So it takes about three to six sessions to clean out the whole organ. It's actually about two metres long if you were to pull it out of the body. Um, this is the rectal tube, gets inserted about an inch. So it sits just inside the anal opening, just past the sphincter muscle, and the sphincter grabs onto it for the duration of the treatment. The gravity fed water feeds in, softens the stool, and you release all the stool and the water on either sides of the rectal tube. Goes down into the well, and then through to the um, viewing tube, and then it goes out into the sewage system. Basically on session one, all that happens is we clean out what's called the S-Bend, which is your sigmoid colon. Um, so effectively for the 35 minutes on the treatment lounge, a little bit of water comes in, softens, you release. A little bit more water softens and you release. So session one, generally the S-Bend, people just feel like they dump a lot of waste and they can't believe how much waste comes out. Um, but effectively what's happening on this treatment is some of the water trickles up to the top of the transverse colon and starts to soften. So the next time you come in, that's gonna flush that out. And in that treatment, that'll soften the next part of the colon. So it takes about three to six sessions and we like to do it within a one to two week period. And if you get through cleaning out the whole organ, it's called a bowel resetting clinic. So generally speaking, the magic of colonics happens up here in your transverse colon. So if you think about toxicity in the body, Basically, um, toxins are acidic, so the body's always trying to protect itself. So it's basically gonna coat that toxicity in mucus. So what happens in a colonic is the water comes in, washes that mucus away firstly. So you might see that there's times where it's just clear water, but there'll be some floating mucus in the bottom of that water. Um, what can happen is obviously that mucus can wash away, the toxins can get re-exposed, the body can go into what's called a Herxheimer reaction. So a Herxheimer reaction, everyone probably knows about this but didn't know the terminology of it. So a Herx reaction is basically that diarrhea, nausea, cramping feeling when you, if you've ever had diarrhea, you know that feeling. Once you have that bowel movement, you bounce back and you feel better straight away. So basically you can get a little bit of that um, in the sigmoid colon if you've got some mucus, but generally speaking, those sort of sessions happen up here in the transverse colon. So once the mucus washes away, the toxins are exposed, the body goes into that um, periostalsis cramp um, and causes that Herx reaction, which is that diarrhea, nausea, cramping. You release that toxicity in that stool, and then once it's gone, you feel so much better straight away. Um, up here in the transverse colon, once we clean this part of the organ out, it becomes a systemic cleanse. So basically um, the liver, the kidneys and the lymphatic system see it as now an open elimination pathway and they dump their waste. Um, most of you would know that the liver is a powerhouse in our um, body and it's got to clean our blood. So once the liver's dumped its waste, it can then go and clean the blood, clean up any free radical cells or any precancerous cells and also come and clean up any cellulite. Um, so that's a real important step. Usually that session is session three or four Okay, so after the liver dump day, basically you need one more session to um, tidy up what's in the ascending colon, and then you're at bowel reset, which means you've cleaned out the whole organ. Um, basically, systemically, after the liver dump day, everything changes. So mind, mind clarity gets on point, brain fog lifts, people have more energy, they sleep better, they feel like they've lost weight, they're feeling lighter, they're feeling like a lot better, they make different lifestyle choices. Um, so yeah, everything changes at that point. We see it in clinic all of the time. Had the education, it's time to start your treatment. So what we've got here is some lubrication. So even with the cotton tip or the glove, whatever you're comfortable with, we just need to make sure you're lubricating the anal opening as well as inside the sphincter muscle. So make sure you're lubricating inside and out really, really well. Because we've got the plastic device, we want to put it straight in, we want it just to glide straight in. So make sure you lubricate inside and out really, really well. Uh, so this is our Angel of Water. It's a TGA, FDA approved medical device for cleaning out the colon. So basically um, it's got a safety mechanism in it so it'll never go over 40 degrees. So when you're on the bed, effectively the red light's on, the water's flowing. If this light ever goes off throughout the duration of the treatment, you just need to buzz us and we'll come in and uh, reset the bed. That'll be that safety mechanism, shutting the machine down so that um, hot water doesn't go inside of you. Okay, so there's two things you need to do when you're on the bed. One is to flush and one is to refill. So when you're laying on the bed through the mirror, you'll be watching what's coming through the viewing tube. If there's some stool starting to back up, you just wanna flush it away, or even if it just grosses you out, you can just flush it away. So how to flush, simply turn that tap up to the ceiling, 
flush that stool away mm. and once it's done you just turn that back off again. So you can do that as many times as you want throughout the duration of the treatment. Okay, second thing you need to do, <coughs> excuse me, my throat. Second thing you need to do is refill. So right now the tank is full of the eight. When you're laying on the bed, you'll be taking in the water and releasing. It's gonna slowly start to come down. When it hits level two, you just need to refill. So the refill instructions are just there, but I'm just gonna give you a quick demo. So this is your mixer tap at home. So hot water is to your head, cold water is to your feet. Generally speaking, if it's pointing in the corner direction, it's a good mix of hot and cold. So all you need to do is lift it up, fill it back up to the eight, and once it's full, you just shut that one back down. So that's about 10 minutes into the treatment. Um, last but not least is cleanup instructions. So when your time's up, we'll come in and let you know. Um, so basically what you need to do, the cleanup instructions are just here for you. I'm just gonna give you a bit of a demo quickly though. So um, cleanup is basically you lift the fill tap up as if you're refilling. That's gonna activate this hose tap for you. So you bring that hose out, bring it into the well. This tap over here on this side where it is, is the pressure tap. So you wanna put that on about halfway. Then you're gonna press the button at the top of the um, hose. That's gonna bring the water through. You're gonna clean your bottom a little bit. You're gonna clean the bowl a little bit if you need to. And then you're just gonna pop that hose straight back down. We will go through that over when you finish your treatment anyway, but it's just a bit of a visual. <clears throat> Excuse me, before you start. Everything we're using clinic is disposable and nothing is reused. Everything is also clean with hospital grade cleaner. In clinic, we also use a product called Force Field, which kills 99.99% .99 of germs. They've also just had US standard testing to say that it kills the coronavirus. So if that's a concern of yours, we've got that covered as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Sh okay, so now we're just gonna give you a demonstration on how to get onto the bed and insert the rectal tube. So you're gonna put one cheek onto the bed you're gonna put your left foot up onto the footstool. Then you're gonna grab on with your hand up there and secure yourself. Then you're gonna bring your right leg up to the footstool and you're gonna shimmy your left leg over the bed. Great. So then you're gonna make sure that your anal opening is into the well. You're gonna make sure that your thighs are flush up onto the treatment bed. Okay, you're gonna grab the rectal tube. You're gonna take the plastic sleeve off and put it into the bin. Then you're gonna find, the rectal tube's got a kink in it. You're gonna find that kink with your thumb. You're gonna push it away from the body. You're gonna push yourself up onto the bed. You're gonna put one elbow down and you're gonna find the anal opening and then just glide it in, okay? At this point, when you're feeling comfortable and you feel like it's in just past the sphincter muscle, so remember it's only going in about an inch. So we'll just show you how, how far that goes in. So about an inch. Once it's in, you're feeling comfortable, you're gonna grab on and you're gonna lay yourself down comfortably. You're gonna cover yourself with the blue sheet. And then you're gonna buzz us. Once you've done that, we'll come in and we'll get you started for your treatment.